Let me just, I'm going to give you a heads up. I am not happy. I am not in a good mood. This is not going to be fun. Just so you're fully aware, I am literally clammy hands shaking. I am so incredibly pissed off right now. Some people may not understand it, but we're, we're going to talk about it. So, Can you preface with this is not, uh, there's, you're not expecting anything in return? Not, yes, I'm not expecting anything in return. I just, I want to talk about this because there's no way I'm the only person on this platform who is dealing with this right now. But the fact that this, this is happening, I am so incredibly livid and there's nothing I can do about it. And that's what's pissing me off even more. So y'all already know I've kind of been like an emotional wreck weirdly for the last couple days, whatever. But what just happened has made it so much worse. And I don't know what to do with myself because there's there. You're going to have to help because right, number, <laughs> number one, number one, I'm trying to be as compassionate as possible. But I also, there's certain things that I don't know and I can't understand. And the um, new year, the birthday coming up isn't probably as exciting for you as birthdays should be. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's not why we're here. No, 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 no. It is part of, you said, they know. Leading up to this, how you feel. Look, mm -hmm. There's more to it than just that. It, unfortunately, you add that on top of the emotional roller coaster that YouTube puts you through, and it makes it even worse. So let me explain for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about. So I, you guys know, on YouTube, I am monetized. I do get paid from AdSense, which is advertisers and whatever for whatever ads they put into videos. Hang on, hang on, real quick. Okay. Anyone who decides that they want to uh, say something that is inappropriate because of her expressing her emotion in this situation will be immediately removed. There's no if, ands, or but about it. We're not going to talk about you. We're not asking for anything. She's upset. She's right, rightfully so, and this is an important subject, topic, that needs to be shared as far as it can be shared. Granted, giving the platform we're sharing it on is the same platform that is causing the problem, <laughs> which- Makes me want to bang my head on a I have wall. come across others with similar issues, but those videos get suppressed because they know what they're doing and they don't want the masses to know. Instead, they want people to believe in this fictitious fairy tale for which I am at the same time watching the quartering and he's talking about his experience with his YouTube partner managers and every experience with his non-English speaking YouTube partner manager is solely for the purpose of manipulating and encouraging and promoting his audience to give him more money through super chats, super thanks, super stickers, memberships, all that for them to yeah. take it and not split it and, and pay out as they contractually should, but because they control the data and they can't be audited, this happens. And we've been doing this for a long time. So it's not like we're mistaking or, or, or overlooking or not reading it correctly. We even have proof from the days of this happening with screenshots. So let me explain something. I'm just going to first off say, let's say you went to work. You went to work for 28 days. We're going to put it at 28 days because YouTube has this 28 day thing. You went to work for 28 days. You worked your eight, 10, 12 hours on day one. You clocked in, you clocked out. You saw exactly how much you made because you put in that work. You were there. You know, for a fact, that's what you get paid. That's your pay. That's what you made. And you do this for 28 days. And at the end of 28 days, you have a total in your mind of exactly what your paycheck is going to be. And then you go get your paycheck and it's one, one thousandth or one, one hundredth or some small ass freaking number of what you know you worked for what you know you earned and everything else. And when you reach out to your employer, we'll say employer, they go, ah, well, you know, you're looking at 28 days and it's different at the end of 28 days. And you go, no, 
these are the hours I worked. This is how much I know I make. This is whatever else. Where's my money? And they just say, ma'am, I'm going to need you to calm down, which I got told to calm down earlier. And that lady can kiss my whole entire ass on that one. Here's what happened. Some, some, you, you guys will understand when you, when you think about it in the terms of if you worked for free, all right? I don't consider YouTube a job. I love YouTube. Uh, I do it because I love it, but I do get paid through YouTube for the content that I put up. My channel is monetized. So advertisers pay to have ads in videos. I don't choose the ads. I don't get to place the ads. I have no idea who's putting what and where, but at the end of every day, I go look in my YouTube analytics and I see, well, you made this much today. And I'm like, cool. Then I know how much I'm putting into savings. I know how much is, you know, for groceries next week. I know how much is this or that. Right. And I see it every single day. And I had a video that made a significant amount of money. I look at it every single day just to see kind of what's going on, you know, with views and whatnot and read comments and everything else. Right. And I just went to look at this video. Um, I went to look at 2023 recap, if you will, to see how the channel did in 2023. So I know, you know, what you guys liked, what you didn't like. So I know to do more or do less, that kind of thing. Right. And I go look at it and I'm looking and something just looks wrong. And I'm like, what is wrong here? And I'm looking and there's all these graphs, all these charts, all this stuff. And I realized that what looks wrong is that the, the monetary um, graph is way lower than it's supposed to be. And I'm like, what is this? So I go click on it and a video that should have over the course of its, its month or so made a thousand dollars. Okay. Just so you know, it should have made a thousand dollars over the course of the month because I keep up with, with everything daily just to kind of see, because you've got to keep up with your money. Right. And today I look and it says that in the last month it's made $94. Um, excuse since me, since published, since published, which is over a month, actually it's made $94. And I'm like, that's $900 less than I know for a fact it, it made and it paid because I look at every single day, right? Just like you would probably pay attention to what your hours are that you've worked, what your money is that's coming in, what your money is that's going out. It's the same thing. So I reach out because as a YouTube content creator, I have the ability to chat with YouTube. This is the worst part. So you if y'all could fill my hands, you would think I was hanging out somewhere in the Northwest or Minnesota or Michigan or something right now. They are freezing because I am so livid that all the blood is this rushing is the worst part to my head. Because you know, when you go in, oh. you have to do the chat, you know, it's going to be 15 minutes of BS. Can you feel my, vi my body vibrating? Like I can feel it now that it's you're holding 15 me. 15 minutes of BS and you know, you're not going to get any solution. Yeah. Yet. There's no solution. And my brain goes, no, they're going to understand. And they're going to be able to explain why YouTube literally robbed me, literally took my money away from me, like went into my account and said, mm, I'd like that back, took it and walked away and gave me no reason. Right? So I get in the, the chat and I said, hi, how are you? Aria. Her name's Aria. We'll just put it out there. I said, hi, Aria. How are you? Um, I have a question and I sent screenshots. I sent screenshots of the first day that the video was up and what it made and uh, like subsequent days. And then I sent a screenshot of what it says now. And Aria, bless her heart, comes back with all kinds of BS that means absolutely nothing. And I was like, cool, but can you explain to me why they took my money? And it comes back with more links and more whatever and more whatever. And I said, listen, I understand that there's certain things you're supposed to say when it comes to YouTube and you know, your employer is telling you this is how you have to phrase it. But I need you person to person to explain to me why they went in and took my money. That's all I really care about right now. I just want to know why my money is gone. If you checked your bank account, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, whatever, you looked and a thousand dollars is missing, you're gonna notice. You're gonna have questions. And when the bank tells you, well, you know, over a course of time, it may look like you had more, but really you had less. No, I know exactly what's in my account. I know exactly what I've put in. I know exactly what I've taken out and where's my money. And the girl, I'm, I was not talking like, I mean, I'm not typing like this. You can't type with the same attitude of maybe you can, but I'm like, I just need you to understand that I know exactly what this thing was doing. And suddenly it's telling me something completely different and you're not explaining why, at which point she said, well, if you would just calm down and look back over the things I've already sent you, 
ma'am, it is a very good thing there's a screen between us because if your face was anywhere near me, it would not have ended well for you. That's all I'm gonna say. Do not tell me to calm down. Tell me why you took my money. It's real simple. And I don't understand. It makes me wonder, like, <sighs> yeah, I don't even know where to go. So you would not, I don't know. All because right, so... I don't wanna say I wouldn't work for free. I don't consider this work. I love what I do, but the fact of the matter is, no, no. when you if, do get paid, if, you if, expect it to be if there. the video, when she released the video, and the following day, it showed her that she made what it made, we wouldn't be having this problem. But the problem is that it showed her a completely different number, which was much, much more realistic. And all of a sudden, it's gone. Yeah. It does not make sense. All it of does a sudden, not make it's sense. gone. Now, so advertisers got to put their shit in my video for however long and pretend to pay me for it. And then at the end, YouTube goes, meh, and takes it away. Explain. And you can't get anybody to explain, and that's the problem. This is by design. YouTube, they have this set up in a way where, one, I need you when you're done to take a screenshot and send that directly for feedback. We're going to skip the chat. We're going to go to an email. Okay. We're going to do that. Okay. But um, they do this on purpose. They hire and they outsource and they contract these, these, these third parties of non-English speaking people in other countries to deflect the chat of complaints from the supporters of the platform who actually provide. Because the creators are the reason why YouTube is even possibly profitable to begin with. But they want to screw them any possible way and chance that they get. Now, granted, maybe there is some recourse. For instance, the instances where views just started disappearing last year. Mm -hmm. Just gone. Where Philip DeFranco was even posting on Twitter, like, YouTube, what the fuck? Like... Where are my views going? Mm -hmm. You know, Philip DeFranco was averaging like a million views a video, and then he puts up a video, and it had like a hundred thousand views, and then it had zero. Yeah, it's like I remember when that happened. We I made videos about it. I made a testing video over here with you guys. I'm like, I just want to see if this shows up because the way YouTube was doing things, it was when they take your views away, it takes your money away. So they still get their money from the advertisers. But then they don't pass it on to the content creators if they're saying that you got no views. The ads were in there, advertisers got their stuff seen, the, the video was seen, but YouTube gets to pocket all that money. And it's like, you wonder why there's so many people leaving the platform. I mean, if, if this was a clock-in job where I went somewhere and I walked in the front door and I clocked in and then at the end of the shift uh, or whatever, they told me I didn't have a paycheck because you know they changed their mind on how much they were paying me, please understand, you're not gonna see me the next day. like. Now this, look, YouTube does this. They did it to Kingdom Reacts and they completely demonetized his channel after a $60,000 a month that he was expecting. And they won't let him back in after he continuously tries to do what they say to do to get back in. But we also knew that these are the inherent risks of operating on this platform. Mm -hmm. For instance, I was just talking to my brother about dumb money and we have seen this happen before when the powers that be want to control the money, they shut down trading mm -hmm. on Robinhood. They shut down the ability to access the forum on Reddit. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, folks, we, this is the truth. The truth is you can try to do all you can do, but you have to realize and understand the limitations that are set upon you in the game that is being played, for which I told you before, we are not supposed to be playing this game. We have to play our own game within their game, for which they always win. Yeah. We just have the ability to possibly get some wins in the process. But when we lose or when they cheat or they don't play fair, mm -hmm. is, there, is there a sandbox? Now, for creators who this is their main income or it is their way of having a job, let's say a stay-at-home mom who can't, or a single mom who cannot go out and get a, a certain kind of job because of children and because it's not going to pay enough and childcare and all that other stuff. So they turn to YouTube content creation in order to be able to stay with their kids, stay home, take care of the family, and still find a way to earn money for themselves to take care of things. When YouTube comes through and says, you know, we're just going to take all you your right money now. away, how does, I mean... I'm telling you right now, there's two people that's about to get screwed, okay? Me? Three people that's about to get screwed, okay? 
One. Two is the guy who posted the video of all the businesses that are closed in Miami because those views don't match his channel and YouTube's not going to pay him for it. And the other one, the third one, was going to be Uber Lyft Phoenix after having just uh, made the news for his video, his viral video of the Walmart Spark scam. Mm -hmm. YouTube's going to look at your content and say, this isn't right. And they're not going to pay but you for it. But on 2.0, are you gonna, serious? No, no, YouTube has this plan of throttling. And they're going to either do it by views or they're going to do it by RPM. And because you got the views, they're not going to take those away, theoretically. They're going to take away the RPM, which they did, and then take that new RPM. So that's what they did. Mm -hmm. Your views didn't change. No, my views are still they there. They just changed 100, your average RPM uh -huh. or RPM in general and applied it to all of the views. Which is, okay, that's basically saying, you know you get paid $10 an hour. Every hour you work, you get paid $10 an hour. You can see it, you know what you've earned, you know what you've worked, right? And at the end of your 28 days, they go, ooh, by the way, we only pay you 20 cents an hour now. How, how, why, where was my heads up? How can you just decide at the end of now, 28 days if, if that's what you're gonna to drop do? If RPM after the first day and you made your money and then every view since then is worth less, that's fine. But they but went all not, the way back. They're not doing that. Yeah. They, they, they And they've strategically manipulated the way that they display RPM and CPM maybe six months ago for this very reason. They don't want to be able to be held accountable because they want to be able to do what they want to do whenever they want to do it, which is ultimately screw everybody over. Do not they, let me drive to YouTube wanna, headquarters because I will not go the in there creator. with a smile on my face. They want to screw the creator. Because they the, want to screw the viewer. And they want to screw the advertiser because I can guarantee you mm. that the billions and billions of dollars that advertisers have pumped into YouTube, they aren't actually getting those money for. It. Oh, no. There's Between no way. bots and fake views and AI content and all these other things, I guarantee you the reason why YouTube's ad revenue is down is because the ad advertisers realized that they were getting bent over with no real accountability for where their money was going in YouTube's fictitious algorithm that tracks your spend and they were robbing them blind so what happens to i mean so what happens like there's i have no recourse there's nothing i can do the people that you try to talk to they're just like mm, hate it for you it doesn't affect me but i'll send you all these links to stuff to try to explain it even though all I said, as I kept saying to this girl, I just need to know why. I need you to understand that I know they took my money. I don't care about your links to your little bullshit articles. I want to know why they did it. And all it was, well, if you would just calm down. Oh, you do not tell a female to calm down. Plain and simple. At no point in your life should you ever tell a female who is literally pissed off to calm down because that's how that things go like way worse. Just so we're all fully aware. But I don't. All I get to do is be pissed. I, I, no, no, no. <sighs> At least with a this business. This doesn't solve the problem, but maybe this could possibly be part of the solution. And she didn't want to do this live stream, but no. I said, you have to tell as many people as you can tell, not for their pity, but for the information to others to understand. The reason why this video is titled, I've been robbed. It's because they took my reason money. people are quitting YouTube is because the reason people are quitting YouTube is because they're not getting what they deserve and what they've worked hard for mm -hmm. and in numerous, numerous instances of this. And she's been robbed just like Jerry rigged. Everything has been robbed by case to But the simple fact of the matter is this is real. This is real life. This is true. This is this is this is it. So it needs to be said. It needs to be shared. Hopefully it makes it beyond just this live stream potentially maybe goes up the ladder and up the chain. Perhaps maybe Neil Mohan, Mohan will actually pay attention to this and do what he needs to do before the platform is completely ruined by the viewers, what if that's his by, goal? The con by the creators and by the advertisers because he's got competition. He's got competition. And he and there's perhaps maybe there's a reason why Susan left when she did, because she real she saw the writing on the wall. Well, maybe this Mo and whatever Neil guy, maybe he's the mole. Maybe he's the one who sent in to destroy it all. You they thought he was taking over to make it better, and all he's done is F it up since day one. It's no different than any brokerage platform, Coinbase, FTX. It doesn't matter. When these folks come in and they realize that, hey, this is it. We're gonna start siphoning money out of this. We're going to start embezzling. We're going to start robbing people, waiting for the, uh, con the, the 
to, to be revealed, sued, investigated. But by then, they've already done what they're going to do. They know that they're going, they got folks in their back pocket. They get a slap on the wrist. They move to the Bahamas so or whatever. So Jen said, can it be a mistake? And they refund you all your earnings. They won't. They will not fess up to it stuff could be. like that. It could be. It, it, out, of the, out of all the videos, well that one be. video is right. the one that they it have. It very well could okay. be. Will they? Probably not. Only because we've been doing this long enough to realize that we know how they operate. Yeah. They're shiesty they were, little sneaky I, mofos. I can remember. I'm saying that nicely. I'm trying day, to watch my language, y'all, just so you're fully aware. I can remember. If not, we'd have to bleep out this whole thing. A day we were riding down Dang. the street somewhere. And we had a video that was doing really well on a channel that wasn't supposed to do that. And then after that video started doing really well, the channel was deleted. YouTube deleted the channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So just but this is why a lot of times you guys are like uh, I've heard people. I haven't been able to see this creator and this creator hasn't been on for a while and whatever else. My little two week hiatus is just because I've been in some sort of weird funk. But this, I can understand why there's other creators out there who are like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. What's the point in putting your time and your effort and your whatever in to get nothing back from your employer, if you will, because a lot of people do consider this their main job. There's a lot of channels out there that this is how they live, right? And then, like I said, there's others where this is what affords them the ability to be a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home wife, or to work from work remotely or whatever else, or to have a side job that affords them the ability to keep the heat on in the winter and keep the AC on in, in the summer. And here you have YouTube coming through showing you every single day, oh, no, no, boo-boo, this is what you're getting paid oh look how good you did look at your money and then day 28 they're like mm, nah we changed our minds you did great <laughs> we made a lot of money off you but you ain't getting shit and that's why there's people leaving there's no way that, that everybody's going to be okay with the fact that youtube keeps robbing them it's it's a it's a racket okay it's a racket just like sponsorships is a racket and affiliates are a racket because there's no accountability there's no transparency there's no way to audit anything because it's your word against theirs. Mm -hmm. And even on so ClickBank. I screenshot everything. Even on ClickBank, Receipts. even on Click Junction, you could see the trend, the conversions, and then they would decide not to pay you. And what are you gonna do? Now, granted, you could potentially go after them, but now you're spending money, time, energy, effort to go after some money that you're probably gonna lose more dollars chasing pennies than it's worth. Brenda, you sound stupid. Let me say that as nicely as humanly possible. I'm sorry reality has smacked you in the face. I understand you're upset, but it is what it is. Tell me the next time you willingly go to work and clock in and work your hours and do whatever else, and at the end of your shift, your employer goes, eh, we're not gonna pay you. Tell me that's reality. That's the dumbest thing in this live stream so far, just so we're all are fully aware. Are you on top or are you on live? I don't know what I'm on. All I know is that Brenda made a stupid ass comment and it pissed me off. Look, I'm a nice which person. Brenda, which Brenda? Brenda Eiler. But I, that is the dumbest thing you could say to somebody. Hey, just because you worked and did your job and they didn't pay you, welcome to reality. No, that's not how that shit works. Just so you're aware, Brenda, if you're okay with that, you've got the issues, not me. Brenda, you're, you're hidden from the channel for Oh, y'all, I'm too livid for this. Y'all can't have me in here because I'm going to... I'm going to say bad things like... I am so, y'all don't ever get to see me mad. And this is actually calm mad. This is calm, I'm not crying, which is a plus. Normally when I get this pissed off, it's very, very hard for me to control emotions. I got little baby handshakes right now, but it's not that bad. It is a little warm now because I'm definitely heated. Um, and then you have dumbasses jump in the live stream with stupid ass comments like that. And it really pisses me off even more. I just, I don't really know how to calm down on this one. <laughs> Oh, no, it's because it's, there's it's, no there's no recourse. There's nothing I can do. There's nobody I can go talk to in your regular nine to five. You can walk up to your boss and be like, hey, listen, we're going to talk or we're going to talk out back. Either way, we're going to have words. But with YouTube, they just keep giving you these like bots in the chat that are like, oh, no. But even be if they nice. give you a real person with a partner manager, it's absolute garbage. It's absolute trash. They cycle through them every 30 days. It's it's YouTube is a for-profit business and they don't care about anybody but themselves and themselves is a corporation and not any one single person and even whoever thinks they're at the top ceo can be voted out by the board of directors like it is about money that's it no ethics 
no quality, no value, none of that. It's about money. I need y'all to understand, I would be just as pissed off if they took $10 from me because the fact of the matter is, that's my mother money. And they took it. It doesn't matter if it's a penny, if it's $1,000, if it's $5, if it's $10,000. It's the, it's the point behind it all. You cannot just jump into somebody's account and sneak off with their stuff and hope they don't notice. And then when they try to bring it up to your attention, be like, <laughs> excuse me. And then just be like, oh no, that's just how this works. No, it's not. Burn it to the ground if that's how this works. Like, I don't understand. Look, it's no different than jobs, laying people off, firing them with no notice, no, no reasoning. It's no different than prices going through the roof. It's no different than everything else that's happening out there. We are not immune, okay? No one is immune unless, for instance, maybe they are of a certain, you know, a member of a certain organization. But for the most part, you know, uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. Y'all are lucky it's, I didn't go real ghetto and just start drinking straight from the bottle. Because As soon as I start, set this live stream up, I said, pour me a drink because I need to woosah real all quick. Right, so some uh, Monica <gasps> says Instacart did that and got in trouble. Uh, I think Lyft did it on yeah, New I remember Year's that. Eve. I remember too. that with the like, hours that people work. Did the people get paid, though? I, I never saw I a, a follow-up where the people it. got their money back. I doubt it. You know? The, mm. the, the banks, they make Zelle mistakes and pull your money out and cause overdraft, ACH transfers. They cause these problems. Do they, do they rect No, they don't. They don't, and they don't care, okay? And then, effectively, what it ends up doing is it ends up destroying this connection and relationship you have with your audience because of the anger you have against the platform that not you, you I love have to take Minus it out Brenda. on them by not posting, mm -hmm. you know? Was it Brenda? Whatever her name was. By not posting, and it's just like... Why are you not posting? Well, it's because they screwed me. But then it's like, well, you know, wherever you go from here, there's still the possibility of getting screwed again. You know, in some way, some shape or form, nobody is immune. Everybody hopefully can get by and get lucky and avoid these disasters and catastrophes, but they do happen. You know, they, you know, not, this is not a perfect world. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it is. Yeah. People do get screwed. Yeah. I want to quickly just say thank you all for letting me always just say whatever I need to say to get it out there. Without y'all, I would my head would literally explode. I can just picture little fragments everywhere. So thank you. Or I would take everything out on him and it would not be good because it just wouldn't be good. I don't want to aim all of my frustration at one person. So I'm going to aim it out here, but not at y'all ever at y'all, uh, except for Brenda. She's an idiot. But the rest of y'all, I love immensely. Thank you for letting me just... And it just... It's like, he said, you got to go live and tell people. And I'm like, I don't want to. I've already told them that I'm in this weird headspace. So then coming up here, just absolutely pissed off, doesn't make me look any better. But, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. All I have, run, Kevin, LOL. Somebody said run. Which, well, you know, like I said, some days. Look, I'll take it. I don't care. But the way I look at it is I understand what's going on. I understand what's happening. I understand what they're doing. That's not to say that I agree with it. I just understand it. But regardless of whether or not this gets your money back, actually has any form of impact or change, I think it's important that people sh discuss this. We have this forum, we have this platform, we have this voice while we do this ability. Do what you can while you can. Maybe help someone else avoid this problem. Although it's really hard to unless you say just don't do YouTube, which isn't necessarily the best I don't want to suggestion. Yeah, I so don't want to not like, do this. Real understand where you stand. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to not do YouTube. I I love you guys and I love being here. This is you I need y'all for my sanity. Just so we're all fully aware. Maybe you need this for yours as well. I think this whole community on 2.0 is something I will never ever give up. I don't care. You know, if 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 YouTube said, hey, ma'am. This is, we're not paying creators anymore. This is all for free. Fine. I know exactly what it is ahead of time. That's not the point. The point is I, I, I relied on that just so we're all fully aware. I relied on that for the bills that are coming up. I knew exactly what was coming in and I had it set aside for this goes into savings. This goes towards this, this goes towards this because I earned it. And for them to take it away, oh, that's, that's the problem. If it had always been a, hey, you're not going to make shit. This is just so you can make friends. Okay, cool. I love it. We're still going to be here. And if they said tomorrow, hey, by the way, we're going to demonetize your channel. I'm still going to be here because I love y'all and I want to have our conversations. It's the fact that they gave it and they took it away 
with no reason, no recourse, no anything, and then tried to tell me it's because I don't understand math? Mother, please, like, are you serious? I think the best part about the YouTube partner manager is if you mm-hmm. ask them, do you have a YouTube channel? They'll say no. So how can you tell me? How can how you tell me how to do my job if you've never done my job? Like, but in regard to uh, <sighs> Jesse, Lewis Rossman deserves way more than he he has. I'm surprised he's able to get what he's got, but he will tell you like it is. He mm-hmm. will tell you the truth. He doesn't care. He will tell you that he doesn't rely on YouTube for his income, and I believe him. But the simple fact of the matter is, is he knows exactly what's going on. I would like to quickly point out that um, Joanna said, what was their reason? None. Their reason, Joanna. No, there's no reason. No, there's, no. Let me explain. They're let me in explain. the position that they didn't make a mistake. There's no. nothing wrong. So the, the girl, I, I assume it's a girl. Who, who the hell knows these days? But the name was Aria, so I assume mm, anything's possible. Explain to me that I was stupid because 28-day math is, is different than daily math. Well, one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, you know, all, all 28 ones still equals 28. And she was trying to tell me that that's not how it works. And so I just stopped the chat. I was like, I can't do this. I'm going to throw my computer into the wall and that's not good for anybody. So we're just, we're not going to do this anymore. This I felt the, myself on the verge the same, of violence and I, she wasn't here for me to you know, make her swallow her teeth. So I had to get out. This is the same Plain YouTube that told me the email I got from Sundar Pachai was real. <sighs> it's the same YouTube that told me the email I got from Sundar Pichai was real. And then in the same chat, I got them to say that it was fake and a scam. And then months later, they revealed that there was a scam, including Coming Sundar Pichai, which Sundar Pichai really shouldn't even be communicating with anyone on YouTube because he's the CEO of Google. But this is the staff that they have. These people, they have a job to do. They have a script to read. They have a protocol that they have to follow. They have a chain of command. And they don't give a shit about anybody. Look, my hands are frozen and my ears are on fire right now. That's that's how pissed off I am. It's such a weird feeling. I have literally not been this livid in since we were told to stay in our homes for two weeks. Like I have not been this mad in a very long time. Ooh, it's just it's a lot. That's all I have to say. And there's no way I'm the only person this is happening to. And and my brain is going. Y'all want to know the video? The video was the one where I had a small emotional breakdown in the car about the kid having the flu. And so now I'm going, are, did, did you take everything away because I talked about the flu? Because oh, if yeah. that's the case. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Are you serious? Absolutely. You can't talk about health. So You can't so, talk about the medical system. So for the first 28 days. You can't talk about real life events. Y'all, y'all, you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> Absolutely. I, that's why they, they, they provided you with an RPM based on a, a channel, typical channel average. And then they went back and reviewed it or maybe the advertisers reviewed it. And they said, you know what? We don't want to be associated with this content. So we're going to manipulate and adjust our ad spend. We don't want to just like just like uh, Elon Musk and his situation with Disney, with their ads being purposely displayed next to. Uh, these phony accounts creating this anti-Semitic content just to make him look bad. So you're telling me, here's the problem. Here's the problem. (sighs) YouTube wants to take the money I earned away because I had a parental emotional breakdown talking about my child being sick, yet you they're, they're willingly paying females out there with their TNA hanging out, pretending to live in a car, pretending to live in a van, pretending to do all this and that, but they're willingly paying them because it's just, you know, pointless fluff that doesn't matter. But for people who talk about real world things or real emotions or real things that are going on, we are the ones who get bent over? No, yeah. I'm going to tell you what they did. Okay. They paid you what they would have paid them. That's what they did. 96 cent RPM. Y'all, if in the next video you, you see me with some money. boobies and some, you some booty, understand it's because I need YouTube to pay me. You no, could have made more money that. on a short. They paid 96 cents RPM. You could have made more money making a short, and shorts don't pay anything. So there's no question about how or why this ended up where it is. I didn't think it would. It wasn't a top uh, conversation about, obviously, the hot buttons they don't really want you to talk about. But apparently, that is a hot button. Because... Yeah, either way, you know, uh, they're all connected. They're all tied together. 
I'm not going to say the names of the companies. You guys already know who they are. So They're freedom all... of speech is literally in the shitter no, right no, no. now. No, no, no. You what we're still saying. have freedom. The video is still public. No, no, you're right. Freedom of speech is still there. I can still say whatever I want. But at any point in time, the powers that be can decide to do whatever the hell they want with it. And I just got to sit back and smile and go, okay. That's basically where we're at. That's basically where we're at. If you never turn on monetization, you never have this conversation. You can you can do what you want. You can show your boobs if you want. Breastfeeding kids on here. You, no, you that gets all, pushed all day can, long. You can do all, all day long. stuff if you don't want to get paid for it by ad revenue. That's perfectly fine. YouTube will allow it. They may still show ads on it. They're not going to pay you for it. But YouTube has this double standard. YouTube and others too. No, look, Florida Mama Bear gets it, but they can take your channel for using your free speech. There have been channels that we know they just take look, it away. Look, you get I, up look, one morning, you're like, I'm let me go playing, check my channel. I'm be the I'm not even there Devil's anymore. Advocate. They're not taking your channel. They're taking their channel. Ah. This is their platform. No, okay. you chose to be it's here. You answer. agreed to these arbitrary, ridiculous. Terms. I did not agree to taking money out you, of my. You account. agreed to whatever they put in their YouTube Partner Program agreement that you accepted in order to receive the money that you've received and look it's no different if twitter ever gets to the point of having substantial monetization and drawing a lot of attention to the platform they too will do the same tiktok will do the same they all will do the same they don't care i know they don't care but it, it really sucks because they are not exactly instilling faith in the american people yeah but they'll also in- throttle and suppress this and shadow ban this content so people oh, don't sure. know about the problem. I'm sure that part They'll too. do that. I'm sure that part too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... It doesn't make sense to me. I, th- this is why I couldn't be the head of a corporation like that. Because at the point where they're like, hey, screw over everybody. I'd be like, um, we're closing our doors instead. Like, I, I don't understand how that's how people work like it doesn't make sense to me that's this is america okay and this is a country founded (laughs) on screwing people over Eh, okay we want to talk about uh capitalism and the american dream and look it's about effing somebody else whoever tells the biggest lie wins deal with it suck it up buttercup Mm -hmm. get a helmet you know i'm too pregnant for this (laughs) like literally this is it okay so you need to figure out how you can not whatever but you gotta you gotta do you boo okay they're gonna do them you do you and just know it's, I'm it's, going it's, to it's, send, it's, it's the double it's the double look, look. it's the double maybe even the triple cross i'm gonna send a bag of straight up sugar honey iced tea to their front doorstep i just need somebody to light it for me and when they come out to stomp on it i'm gonna be like you know why that's all i got so. No, you can literally order a bucket of horse you, manure. You can. I'm going to order so many buckets and have it sent directly to, what's the name? Maybe just to YouTube headquarters. Oh, Neil Mohan. Neil Mohan, yes. No, but the thing is, Neil, he has no idea. He has no clue. If I can get Aria's address, that's He has no clue, and he doesn't want to know. That's true. He's, his only goal is to drive revenues, increase profits, and look good to shareholders. That's it. That's it. He doesn't want to know this, okay? Yeah. He doesn't want to know this. You know, when I question why the creator who gets no views gets invited to New York to roll out the new YouTube features and like It's because they're the ones who tell the line yeah. and kiss the ass yeah. and do what they're told to do. Oh, and she was I don't black. know if you've met and me. She was, she was a black <laughs> but female. I'm not that person. She was a black female too. YouTube's engaging in this DEI from creators as well. The same deal. Same deal. I so look, if I, I had I, you, I'll can you, you just sit I'll in all you, of my videos care. in the background that way though? Huh? Can you be in just in the background of all my videos that were like Nope, there's a black man. This is DEI video. I, let it go. No, because DEI is dead. Unless I'm disabled, partially blind, or have some sort of mental... I'll take out a kneecap if you need. Uh, disability, I'm done. Take your you know, Unless off. I want to work for the FAA. <laughs> and then you but can fly a plane. This, this, that was it. YouTube is no... Di- like How they operate from top-down corporate levels is no different than how they manipulate the algorithm with trends with the audience. It's all about what's trending right now. And I can guarantee you this. If there's a change in the political... Landscape in November, YouTube will change too. Oh yeah, there's that. There's like, that. Like that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Ascending spirit says Max is a big boy. I'm sure he lays some pretty big patties. Yes, he does. 
Those are free doo-doos, I can say. <laughs> Don't even gotta spend money. Just gotta bag them up and ship them out. Oh, y'all, thank you for letting me lose my Somebody ever loving mind for a second because it was necessary. I needed it. I'm sitting on my couch. It's right over there. You sitting on that? the couch. He's sitting right here. And he was on the phone with his brother. And he could tell by my face and maybe my hard typing that something was wrong. He's like, bro, I got to call you back. And he hung up and he's like, what? And I was like, these motherfuckers. And I lost my love of mind just for just, a second. Just like dumb money. They threw a pile of yeah, they did. dog crap on the door of uh, Robin Hood or wherever. One of the investment brokerage or yeah. the hedge funds. This is real. <sighs> we don't want to give away any spoilers, but the end of the movie from uh, Dumb Money is a clear e example of how this system works or doesn't work. And if you want to sit here and pretend like, oh, it's supposed to be fair, then you, you've you already lost. Oh, Gene, thank you, you. you. You've already lost the game because it's not fair, okay? Nobody's playing fair. And the simple fact of the matter is now is that there's so many, there's so much unfairness and lies that fair and truth doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, yeah, there's that. I mean, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, you'll always get the truth from me, whether it's what you want or not. I don't know how to really BS my way through stuff. I'm going to be completely blunt and upfront, which may be why that lady told me I needed to calm down. But Aria can choke on the Creators need to get together and do a class action lawsuit. For what? To be out of a job? You get a class action lawsuit from creators against YouTube and win? YouTube's oh, done. there goes YouTube. So YouTube's then it screws you guys, because then you don't have the platform to go find out how to tie a tie. That 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 guy who does all the dad things for everybody, I freaking love his channel. Can't think of the name of it. But he shows you how to put air in your tire, shows you how to change your oil, shows you how to put on a tie, shows you how to do all these things for all the people who don't have dads. I would hate for people to lose that kind of content. I would hate for people to lose the stuff that they need in order to get through their day because sometimes they need that cat video, that dog video. Sometimes they need that batshit crazy uh, squirrel running off at the mouth. Sometimes they need these other things. So I would hate for that to be taken away technically over money. I'm gonna be pissed about the money, obviously, but I would never take this away from y'all over it, if, if that makes sense. I will say that I do appreciate everybody in the live that is here for the live. Yes, because thank you. This is the channel that has been affected. Uh, we have multiple channels. Yeah. This is the channel that's been affected, but also not for anybody coming here and being completely off color for the real situation that is. And that is not a thousand dollars loss. It's the fact that YouTube lies and cheats and steals yeah, yeah. as they try to convince creators to continue to create and pump out more and promote their products. While also we're seeing a wave of of seasoned stars, multi-million subscriber channels quitting and walking away from the platform in 2024. It's not coincidence. No, I would like to say now that I've calmed my tits a little, um, Brenda. Eiler, or whatever your last name was, who's now blocked from the channel, I apologize for losing my shit. I, I stand by the fact that your comment was stupid, but I also realize that everybody has the right to say whatever they want, but you said the wrong thing at the wrong time, and I don't know how else to say that, but I apologize for being an ass about it, but either way. YouTube uh, set a precedent, and they effectively told you what not to do unless you don't want to receive revenue for it. Because I can tell you this, let's play their game, okay? But you've already called this before. YouTube wants a platform full of fairy tale videos that paint a certain picture mm -hmm. for children and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, easily manipulated and uh, simple minds that promote uh, conversions with advertisers and possibly pushing an agenda of super ridiculous ideas. Uh, do another video because I can tell you this. I will tell you right now for a fact that I know, which is, I hate the fact that I know it because I don't want to do it, but I can guarantee you, you can replicate that video again. And I can guarantee you, you can track every metric of that video again and call them out mm -hmm. with this case study yeah. intentionally. Yeah. But we're not going to do that. Well, I couldn't do that because, I mean, that, that. that was like raw emotion. No, no, no. I don't know there how to There are channels that out there that specifically do this on purpose, tugging on heartstrings yeah, and certain true. topics and discussions that's and insinuations and tears and yeah. whatever, whatever, just to prove a point to the platform 
to get the data for the numbers to call them out. Yeah. But we're not going to do that. But essentially, YouTube wants this this fairy tale land of Mr. Beast style content that is luring in children. Why is YouTube so interested in luring in children? <laughs> I have so many thoughts on that, but then they definitely take my whole channel away if I voice those out loud. But that's fine. It is what it is. Breathe. But essentially, YouTube can manipulate and control the viewer and the creator and the advertiser. They hold all the cards. <laughs> so if they provide you with extensive impressions and reach and growth and subscribers and views and comments, but then don't pay you, that will further incentivize most to never create that content ever again. Debbie, yes, it was over the video about my daughter. They will, and they will entice you and manipulate you and provoke you to never do that again because it's, uh -huh. not, it's not worth it. This is true, this is exactly what I've been saying. So I'm gonna mess up your whole entire name. Honor is et veritas. Uh, if you control the youth, you control the future. Control the youth to convince they're gonna, them they're all gay or they're trans. They're going to control the youth to eliminate the future because all the youth, through manipulations of psychological changes and uh, internal changes and whatever they're giving them, all these different things, thoughts and opinions, they will no longer be able to reproduce, nor will they want to reproduce. Mela says, girlfriend, do I need to send a check somewhere? I love you. The answer is no. I appreciate you immensely, but no. I, I just needed people to understand what YouTube is doing to creators. Um, I say creator. I still don't consider myself a creator. I just hit record and then just, you know, Do you consider whatever. yourself to be a YouTuber? I'm a YouTuber, yes, okay. but I'm not a creator. I'm not creating anything. You're just getting whatever is in my brain and in my heart and in my soul at the moment. So that's not creation. That's just, you know, me. But um, I appreciate all of you who are like, hey, give, tell me where to send the money. No, 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 no. Hold it. Love you all. Appreciate you immensely. Hold it. I'm, I'm going to rake YouTube over the coals and make them give my money back. No, and this is why channels exist to completely bash the platform because they're over it. And it's not about the money anymore. No. It's about the principle. Yes. Knowing that they're going up against the establishment, knowing that about they're the going, Rocky Balboa. Knowing that they're going up against, you know, director, Creed. director Snow or Original whatever Rocky. his name is. It's like this is the Hunger Games, okay? You're fighting for survival. Do you do you win the crowd? Do you win your freedom? Is this gladiator? Are you are you on uh you, we're literally on screen here and they're rooting for us. And until they stop but if you can get enough behind you, then you could potentially have some power. But we're talking 25, 30, 40 million subscribers to potentially have that power. And even then, you may not. So she says, this, the fact is, this is a real channel and it scares the current administration. I mean, I probably scare a lot of people because... I'm a little extra. I'm a whole handful or two, um, and I am not easily contained or calmed down or placated or shut up, if you will. You, they will literally have to come take my phone from me if they don't want me to have a channel anymore. You can demonetize it. You can try to take it away. I'll just start another one. <laughs> so there's that. Been there, um, done that. Been there, done that. But the, pro the point is... I, I, I hate the fact that there's probably way more people than just me who are looking at things going, wait, something seems wrong and maybe they can't put their finger on it. Maybe it's not a significant number like that one was to where they're like, they don't notice $5 this or this day, $10 gone that day, $20 gone that day. But when you look and you're like, fucker, that's, that's, that's like $1,000 so, gone. It's very noticeable. And so somebody needs to speak up about it. Just like Kingdom Reacts and just like other channels, I don't know all the names, but they, YouTube will tell you that the money that you think you've earned, you haven't really earned until we pay you. And even after we pay you... They can still take it back. They can retract it. They will take it out of your account, which is why you always have to no, leave a buffer in your account. They can retract it. Yeah. They can. They, they, no, they don't have the ability to do an ACH out of your account, but they can ding you for future deposits because they've overpaid you if they deem that the content that they paid you for was... Straight theft, Jada, exactly. Even though at the time they showed ads on the content that they paid you for and they charged the advertisers for that, mm -hmm. they'll then go back later and say, no, we don't agree with that anymore. Mm -hmm. We want to improve our numbers for the year. Uh, the balance sheet isn't looking so hot. Well, we'll just... <sighs> hey, guys, uh, the accountant said we're not looking so good and we, we really got to get these numbers up. 
Just well, pull five dollars from well, each account on YouTube. Let's just let's just pull money back from the creators. Okay. Well, we, look, it's creative accounting. Anybody mm -hmm. who's run a business, anybody who has presented uh, financial reports for a bank or a bonding company knows exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You can make the numbers look like anything you want, but with YouTube, they have the ability to make the numbers real, not just look like how they want. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot. Don't, don't, don't think that in 10, 15, 20 years time, YouTube doesn't get called out for all this. It's coming. I'm just going to call them out daily you just now. Need somebody I'll start, big I'll start the, the avalanche. You need somebody big enough and bad enough okay, to do it. Okay, that's not me. But I'm, I'm a little baby thing. And, or and somebody to infiltrate Neil Mohan to grow his spine and say, I'm tired of it. You I, said I, infiltrate? Oh, send me to headquarters. Send me to he I'd like to be your secretary, <laughs> Mr. Mohan, and then just get in there and just wreak havoc. I, I can make a good secretary. I'm just and you saying. go against the grain. They, they Look what they did to Russell Brand. They, they shut the Joker down overnight. Over an allegation, they shut him down. But if they hadn't shut him down over an allegation and it had been factual, they would have had a whole different bucket of shit thrown at them. Well, innocent until proven guilty. They just oh, shut, that's not how we work here in the United States. Down. Stop it! Stop it! That's cute. No, no, you were guilty until proven guilty. That's how it works here. That's what we have come down to. Unless you're, you know, a Biden, and then it's fine. But um, I appreciate you all very, very much for being here. Uh, and letting me, I've literally calmed down. I no longer have the shakes. Look how steady I am. It's great. My ears no longer feel like somebody has set them on fire. My hands are of normal temperature. My heart rate is good. And my body does not feel like it's on vibrate. So we're good. This is why I love y'all. Because you helped me just woo saw the hell out of situations when necessary. And now I can go sit back down on the couch. She told get, me she's get like, back I'm into not how to get like, away with murder. She's oh, like, maybe I've been watching it for a reason. Maybe it was like preparing no, me I, for this. I, I, so she <laughs> said that she's like, see Look, what there. I'm not going to make a video today. I'm going to take a break. for the main channel. I said, I can't, I, my mind, I can't deal with the, the, the stuff over there today. I just, I need a minute. I'll go back over there tomorrow, but I can't cause I just this wanted a, a few hours this of is a PSA. positivity. This is a PSA for creators or possibly future creators. You got to take care of yourself first yeah. because YouTube will send you down a dark, dark path. Well, that's what you haven't watched the 2.0 video from this morning, have you? No, I haven't. No, I just sat we've in the been, Jeep. We've been busy. We have been busy. We did we did fun stuff. Thank you. I needed it, but not like that. Not like that. Puppies. That's later. We did get to I'm go just, play I, with a whole lot of puppies. Oh, they were so cute, and I wanted all of them. I wanted all of them. There was a, a um a, um what was the lab the 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 uh, bull bulldog bully bully a bull just, lab mix. <gasps> cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole freaking life. He had blue eyes and he was tiny and his little paws and I was like, can I have them? <laughs> but we didn't do it. But my video earlier, I did explain to them how, I don't know if it's hormones, I don't know if it's being stuck in the apartment because the weather's been crappy and cold or whatever, but I have just been in a not happy, not positive mood and doing stuff on the main channel and Squirrel Tribe with the news and stuff has not helped and I just need the ocean and some sun and nothing on the main channel I for a few to go hours. To the beach. She said no. No, because I dried my hair today and it was very windy out, and this was going to end up looking like a whole shit show of bird's nest. And I, so tomorrow we'll go tomorrow. Um, but I, I love y'all immensely because you give me the ability to speak my mind without having to pay a therapist. Hey, free therapy. Love y'all. Um, and I know I'm not the only one that deals with the things that we talk about, whether it's good, bad, ugly, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I appreciate the fact that it gives all of us a, a place to have open conversation, open conversation. And your opinion obviously can differ from mine, obviously, but maybe not while I'm pissed. Cause then you get blocked from the channel, Brenda Eiler. No, but no, no, your opinion can differ. You just got to de determine how you're going to express that. Because if you come out, you, you know, uh, you mess with the bull and you get the horns. Okay. So there's, there's now a, there's, I want to watch. Now I want to watch Breakfast Club, a, one of my a, favorite there's movies. There's a simple and easy way of, uh, of having this discussion and debate and dialogue, and that was not it. Yeah. You know, uh, know your role and shut your mouth, Brony. <laughs> that too. Oh, y'all. It's y'all, not the mimosa that's helped me, just so you know. I don't want to you know, give credit where credit's due. That's y'all, not this thing. This is, has this is helped, but it's y'all. So, Richard, okay. I hear you, Richard. Hey. This is what it is, you know. Marvin's not here, and I have not seen Michael the Realist in forever. And I know that's totally off topic, I saw but Michael the other day. you did okay. When I don't see people's names for a while, I start to worry about them. 
Um, especially if I don't have, I know how to get in touch with them. Irish Iris, I did see you earlier. I care that you're back. Thank you for being here. Kay, I know that you had to change yours because your daughter started, I think you said daughter, started a YouTube and messed everything up and you had to start all over. I pay attention. You guys may not under, believe it or understand it when I say you are my YouTube friends and family. I remember things. I pay attention to things. If traveling through was in here, which I didn't see her name, I know it's six hours later where she lives. And I know these things because I care. So I just want to put that out there. If you think that I don't care about all of you in the comments, I do. Um, Stephanie, uh, I haven't seen your daughter in here. It used to be Stephanie and her daughter would be in the live chat. I haven't seen your daughter in a while. And again, I, I remember y'all because I love y'all because you, you make me happy. So just FYI. That's all. Yeah, thank you guys. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I think this is really helpful for uh, a lot of different reasons, and this is not what we would prefer to talk about, but I think it needed to be talked about. Jen, wish I could have a birthday drink, but I don't drink. Happy birthday, Michelle. Thank you very much. It is on Monday. We will do Mimosa Monday at 5 o'clock for a birthday toast, and then we're going to go to dinner. I don't know where yet. I've named a couple places that I'd be happy with, so that's good. But She's named Mexican, Italian. <laughs> And Chinese. And Chinese. Well, whatever P.F. Chang's is. Well, because I'm not the only one eating. I want all three of us to be happy with where we go. And all three have good desserts, and that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, so I'm good no matter what. But also, what I was saying, Jen, um, the whole drinking thing. No, drink water, drink coffee, drink hot tea, drink you know cranberry juice, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything like this ever at all. Just so you know. Don't feel pressured. Drink ever. AG1. It doesn't matter. Don't drink AG1. If you've ever had it, it tastes like what I think a donkey's ass would taste like. It's, it's not good, just so you know. That's all. But it's healthy. If it tastes Who like says a, it's healthy? It like I know Karen and Nate say it's healthy, but is it really? If it tastes like a donkey's ass, it's probably healthy. Like, oh, it was gross, but it's good for my digestive tract. Donkey. Now I want to watch Shrek. Oh, my colon. You've ruined it. I was Breakfast Club. Now I'm Shrek, so there's that. Um, oh, wait. It is somebody else's birthday today. I don't remember who. Who else's birthday Jen. is today? Wait. Wait. Jen? Jen. Uh-huh. Somebody else's birthday was today. I remember that. So it's Jen's birthday. Happy Jen's birthday. Okay. Yeah. Wait. But where did Jen say it's her birthday? Hold on. Now we're just scrolling. I don't know. People chat. are just saying happy birthday, Jen. Well, I know it's somebody's birthday. Okay. Sarah's birthday is tomorrow. So happy early birthday, Sarah. Uh, for all of y'all, the moderator in the channel, Sarah, her birthday is tomorrow. You can spam her on Monday's live stream and tell her happy birthday as well. There was somebody else's birthday who is today. Maybe it's Jen. Maybe, there was somebody else. I can't remember the name now, which makes me feel awful. Um, Thanks, Jay, dear, for the gift. Oh, yeah. oh, Jamie, yes. Where is it? Oh, look, y'all. Jamie said I didn't have to, or she didn't say I couldn't. Let me rephrase it that way. So Jamie sent me a gift, and it came with these lovely, lovely notes. So these actually probably are going to come in very handy. She sent me two books for my birthday because Jamie's amazing. I do miss our Zoom calls, just so you know. So everybody always becoming love in a world full of setbacks and difficult people. In a world full of Arias and Brendas, you need this book. Um, and then this one, Love Does. I don't know what this one is. Discover a secret, incredible life in an ordinary world. So I'm really excited for these. One comes before the other. And I, rem I don't remember which one goes first. Uh, I'll read it later and figure it out. But I'm going to be reading these next. I'm going to start whichever one I'm supposed to read first tomorrow. Wait, best-selling phenomenal love does takes a... Okay, so this one goes first. Haha. <laughs> so I'm going to read this one tomorrow. I'm going to start this one, and then I'm going to read the other one. But, Jamie, thank you very much for that. Also, hold on. I didn't get to show you guys, and I was going to save this for Monday, but since we're already here. Um, this is from Beth. She sent me a Christmas card, and I never got to tell anybody, but it's really cute. It looks like the snowman is holding his wiener, but it's not. It's a, it's a Christmas tree. But it says, sending warm wishes your way for the happiest of holidays. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. May 2024 be the best year for you. Minus January 20th, where Aria at YouTube pissed me off. But besides that, it will be the best year ever. I have already decided, just so we're all fully aware. So that's all I got. I got <laughs> thoughts and opinions about these folks working these call centers for YouTube, but I'll save it for another video. Okay, save it for another video. So I'm going to let you guys know um that you can go and and finish your saturday it's saturday oh uh, yeah yeah who knows what day it is i don't even know i will put a if you email me squirrel tribe on yt at gmail.com i will give you a delivery address if you want to send a card or something because i see y'all asking you, huh? don't, you don't have to no 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 never in time do you have to but just know if you want to Email me and I'll send it to you. I'm not going to be that channel that puts it in the 
like a cash app and Venmo and all that crap in the about and then the, the address to send me stuff. No, 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 not like that. But if you want to and you ask me, I'll send you. Don't send me a bag of doo-doo, <laughs> please. Um, I'll smell it before I open it and I'll know exactly what it is. And I'll be like, bad, not nice. But anything no else anthrax. is fine. No anthrax, no bombs, no doo-doos, okay? Um, anything else, And none of that confetti dick shit either. Oh no, send that, because I'm going to make him open it. That would be a lot of fun, because I open a lot of stuff in the car, so if you send something that has like that, when you open it, it pops up and it's like confetti penises, that would be amazing, because then he'll go get his car detailed one day at Porsche, and they'll be like, sir, you have silver penises in your, in your glove compartment or your drink holder, and I'll be like, mm-hmm, we had a wild night out, so... <laughs> That would be so much fun. <laughs> Somebody send me confetti dicks, please. <laughs> and this is why I shall never grace the stage at VidSum. Oh, yeah, there's that. You're not like, allowed to say confetti dicks on the live stream. And she's like, all right, let's talk about confetti dicks. <sighs> oh, my God, I love y'all more than you fully understand. Thank you for taking, turning this frown upside down on this shitty little Saturday last hour of whatever. Um, the day has been great, but the last hour before this really pissed me off. But I love you all immensely. I'm going to let you go now. I've said this five times, I'm sure. But I'm going to let you go finish your Saturday night. I might not see you tomorrow because I'm still a little in my feelings about the fact that YouTube robbed me. But we will definitely see each other Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Monday. So Monday. So that's 6 p.m. Eastern. It is 4 p.m. Mountain and 3 p.m. Pacific. Did I do it right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're doing on Monday. Unless you're in one of those Pacific or Mountain time zones that don't do daily savings time, then I don't know what time. I don't know what time. You need to talk to your 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 state officials because I don't know what's happening government. there. Talk to your government. Um, but I will see you hopefully all of you on Monday's Mimosa Monday birthday live stream just for a little cheers before we head out to dinner. Um, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you very much for being here. Now go enjoy the rest of your night with nobody yelling at you because I was yelling a little bit. My bad. I apologize.